Well, for the first time since Hurricane Michael, the Central Panhandle Fair is returning to the Bay County Fairgrounds this week, and there's a whole lot you can enjoy. News 13's Ethan Logue is joining us live at the fairgrounds this morning to tell us everything you need to know about heading to the fair. Good morning. Chris Kelsey, good morning to you. And the great news I have for you this morning is the fair is returning tomorrow. So you don't have to wait a very long time to come out and enjoy the Central Panhandle Fair here at the Bay County Fairgrounds. Now it opens tomorrow starting at 6 p.m. And from Tuesday to Thursday, it will be 6 to 10 p.m. But it's worth noting that that's the last chance you have to buy tickets. Everything you see behind me, well, that will be open for a few hours after 10 p.m. So plenty of time, even if you buy them, get your tickets, get here at 8, 9 o'clock. You can still enjoy all the fair and attractions behind me for a few more hours. So there's plenty of time to come out and enjoy the fair. And I got, to, again, two of the directors of the Central Panhandle Fair joining me now. We have Henry Goins and Jim Hickson to my left right here. Henry, we'll start with you. Can you kind of touch on what some of the important information parents should know about, especially those with younger kids who are attending the fair this week? Yes, sir. Uh, we want all of our Children have a good time, but as well, we want all of our parents, you know, just like you always will, supervise and keep them close to you. Let them have fun, but keep your eyes on them, yes. Safety obviously safety. is an important part of the fair. And speaking of safety, Jim, can you kind of touch on the safety details you've kind of stepped up or stepped up your presence or kind of taken to ensure everyone has a good and safe time at the fair this year? We have uh, security uh Bay County Sheriff's Office is providing security. Uh, we have metal detectors this year, first time, uh, but they'll be there from now on uh, as long as the law is set the way it is where you can carry a weapon. Uh, the no. intent is, to, is safety. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to enjoy themselves, have a good time, mm -hmm. but use common sense. Mm -hmm. The main, if you use common sense, we won't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Nobody will have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not only yourself you have to worry about. It, if it gets bad, you got somebody else to worry about. So keep it common sense mm -hmm. and enjoy yourself. Uh, watch after your kids if you're going to bring your youngsters with you. And a, a reminder that the child must be 32 inches tall before they can ride. That's the law. Mm -hmm. It's not, not our uh, decision. That's the law decision. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want you to enjoy it and, and have a good time. You're going to see the Midway is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's There's a lot of rides. There's a lot of food. Uh, there's a lot of ed entertainment for the family. Uh, and we're back in business, and we want everybody to just have a good time. Good time. That's obviously the most important thing when it comes to the fair. And again, just a reminder, the fair opens tomorrow here at the Bay County Fairgrounds starting at 6 p.m., and that will be Tuesday through Thursday. That will be the start time. On Friday, it will start at 4 p.m., and then on Saturday at 2 p.m., and again, the last chance you have to buy tickets to get into the fair behind me is at 10 p.m., but you can enjoy it for a few hours after that. There is no end time as of right now. Live in Panama City this morning, Ethan Logue, News 13, Panhandle Strong.